how do we keep employees motivated? Well, first and foremost, by trying to make it a fun, happy place to be. We are in a relatively low-tech business in a very high-tech area. Though we use software, we have a, a website where you customize your product. We've employed software engineers to make that site. We have our laser cutter and our fancy sewing machines. But at the end of the day, this is a low-tech business and it's very manual. You know, it's people sewing, cutting and sewing. And how do you keep people motivated in an environment that is, you know, pretty much you come in, you do the same thing every day? Well, we need it to be a fun place to come to work. I think there are certain things about it. Well, we're using, you know, colorful fabrics, beautiful fabrics. We're bringing in new fabrics uh, occasionally. And so that keeps it sort of visually exciting. You know, our production team, 12 working mothers, actually many of them relatives of one another. This is a place where they come every day and yeah, they're here to work, but they are also socializing. Uh, they have a communal area where they eat uh, lunch every day together and they cook much of the food here. So in, in many ways, it's a small, almost family-like business and that has its attributes. This isn't a place where you're going to hit the lottery, like working in Silicon Valley, hoping that your startup is going to go public and you're going to make you know, millions of dollars. This is a place where people come to work and do a job every day. They get a good paycheck for doing it. and. You know, hopefully they come here with a sense of, hey, you know, I enjoy the people I work with and the work that I do. And the same for my operations team. You know, we have people in sales and customer service and operations managing the factory. But I want all of them to feel like this is just a really great place to work and that they're learning. I mean, we are, we're making things. This is stuff that you got to learn. And uh, whether it's sewing or embroidery or laser cutting, we're about to get into this printing business, dye sublimation printing. We're learning about that right now. We're buying new equipment and very expensive equipment. We got to learn how to use it and put it to work so that we get a return on that investment. And my philosophy, I want everyone who works here to have a great experience because it's not likely that they're going to be with me for 10, 20 years. Maybe, but these days people move around their jobs. I always tell people, I want this to be the best job you've ever had and the stepping stone to the best job you've ever had. Meaning I want your next job to be even better than this one based on the experience that you, you've had here. And I hope that people here learn not only some skills but some business values. I mean, the way we run our business, some very fundamental principles here about honesty and integrity. No one should be afraid to make a mistake here. No mistake is worth cheating or lying about. And we hear about people who do, you know, good people do bad things sometimes when they feel like they're going to get punished. And here, very open environment, no one gets punished for making mistakes. We'd like to not make the same mistake, you know, three or four times. Uh, that's a sign of a different problem. But smart, happy, motivated people make for a great work environment. And so keeping this place fun, light, open, lots of communication. I tell everyone, don't let things fester. If you got an issue, talk about it. We're all just people here. And if you got an issue, probably likelihood that the other person on the other side of the issue has got an issue. So let's just get it out there. You know, our hiring criteria here is, first, are you a happy person? A lot of people are Eeyores, not Tiggers. We want to hire happy Tigger people, not, you know, morose Eeyore people. And then are you motivated? Are you motivated to work? And are you motivated to do a good job? Because I can teach you the rest. If you're motivated and you're happy, you're smart, you can learn this business. I can't compete for Silicon Valley kinds of salaries and employees. So a lot of our people here are on their first or second job. They're not programmers, they're not technical people. So they are the people out there that otherwise might be working at as a barista local coffee place or working in a restaurant as a waiter but here they can come in and make stuff and create a brand and tell their friends hey that rickshaw bag of yours I helped make that and whether you're in operations and customer service or out on the production facility I tell everyone here whether you're in sales or in production you're all part of the process if the sales guy sells too much stuff and we can't make it that doesn't do us any good he doesn't sell enough and we sit around on our hands, that's not good either. But everything has to work together. So the salesperson and the production person are just as important in this business. Because if we don't sell it, we can't make it, but if we sell it and we can't make it, that's a different problem.